Hi guys, welcome back to another iPhone 14 Pro video. Many of you were asking me for iPhone 14's 48 megapixels Pro RAW versus 12 megapixels photo comparison. Although I have covered this in my night and full camera review of the iPhone 14 Pro, I still wanted to put this video out here for all of you specifically interested in the 48 megapixels versus 12 megapixels photo comparison. Before we go ahead, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Also make sure to drop a comment below to make sure that you stay engaged with this video. Okay, the 48 megapixels mode, like I mentioned earlier, is the Pro RAW mode supposed to take large pictures with the ability to customize the images the way you want. These images are saved in the TNG format and the size typically goes up to 90 MBs per image. Because these images are big in size, editing these images won't disturb the resolution in any form. The reason for these images to be so big is to preserve the quality after customization and for this very reason the Pro RAW images lack good saturation and the depth in the colors. These images look dull because you are supposed to edit and enhance the look of these images on your own. Or you may capture such images if you want to crop into it. The 48 megapixels Pro RAW mode is basically uh, liked the most by the professional photographers who don't want to carry their SLR cameras everywhere. The iPhone 14 Pro can definitely fulfill their needs to some extent. I have attached the 12 megapixels counterpart and for some images I have also attached the ultra wide counterparts. You can see an obvious difference between the color tone of all these images. The 48 megapixels images lack saturation, contrast is not that good. The dynamic range is good in these images. Normal 12 megapixels images are ready to share photos which is why these images have very good saturation and colors. The ultra wide images have highest saturation, dark shadows and dynamic range is not that good in these ones. I have also attached the Pro RAW images shot in the low light conditions. All of these images are for you guys to analyze. My only purpose was to give you an idea of how the 48 megapixels images stand next to the 12 megapixels images.
make sure to drop your own thoughts and analysis in the comments below if you found this video useful hit the like button and subscribe too with that being said i will sign off and see you all in the next one